All right, a uh, quick video here for you guys who uh, might be using Ecamm Live and are trying to live screen, uh, live stream Ableton and you're having problems uh, getting the computer audio. Uh, what I've had to do in the past is I would record videos on, um, on ScreenFlow and I would drag that video into the live stream and that way it captures the computer audio when doing that but inside of Ableton, it wasn't doing that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come into the Ecamm Live window and click this little uh, microphone deal here, right? Now it's gonna show this here, and you might only see these two. So what happens is when you switch over to screen sharing, which is this middle deal here, then it will either show you system audio or it will have kind of a button where you could download um the plugin for the system audio okay so you want to load that up and then what you need to do from there is as you'll notice in my preferences here i got this thing called aggregate device because if i come in here and i just uh use ecamm which you shouldn't actually have to do at all anyway um or if i just use built-in output which i'll, I'll do right now just to show you uh, what you'll see is nothing's coming through the system audio. All right, and to be honest, I don't know if you guys can hear that either because uh, normally in these videos, I have to switch over to telescreen, uh, telestream audio capture here in order for it to capture on ScreenFlow. So anyway, um, trying not to complicate things, I had to create uh, what's called an aggregate device, all right? So how that works is you would come into your audio MIDI setup and when you get to the audio devices, you're going to hit the plus button and then it will give you an option to create an aggregate aggregate device, which I've done here. Once you've done that, you wanna click on here, and then you'll click on the Ecamm Live App Audio. And I tried to do this with the built-in output, and even though it worked, it created a really unpleasant delay. So I had to use another sound card, I, I using my Duet. And hopefully, if you've got an external sound card, this will help. But what it does is the Duet sends audio into the system audio here, which is very cool. That's what we uh, would like to do. So with that set up, then we can go ahead and hit play, and we will see system audio. Once again, you're probably not going to hear this except through the microphone just because of the way the audio is set up for this. But I wanted to share this with you guys uh, because anyone who wants to stream Ableton related stuff is gonna have some tricky issues. Apparently Ecamm is coming up with a stereo system device that is going to solve this problem. What's strange is it works on everything else. It'll work on browsers, it'll work on uh, iTunes and you know pretty much anything else in the system. But for some reason Ableton doesn't like this driver. But if you use an aggregate device, it's a good workaround for now. And now I hit play. And as you can see, it's coming through. So that's that. I hope this wasn't too complicated and I hope it helps someone who's trying to stream some uh, Ableton stuff through Ecamm. All right guys, take care, bye.